Hello, and within this part we will have a closer look at event flags in practice. Now it is a time to test event flags in practice. We can reuse any of previous projects from this session. In this part we would need one interrupt source. Uh, when using Nucleo board we can use a blue button which is connected to PC13. Then we will start with stm 32 cube mix or stm 32 cube IDE configuration. And then within FreeRTS configuration, in config parameters, please enable software timers and set timer priority to OS priority normal level. Then within task and queues tab, please create three tasks, task 1 with start task 1 function, task 2 with start task 2 function, and task 3 with start task 3 function. All of them should have the same priority level, like OS priority normal, like in our timer task. And the stack size set to 256 bits. Roles of those components will be the following. Task 1 will wait for an external interrupt and task 2 action occurrences, order not important, by waiting for 51 hexadecimal within event group 1. Task 2 will set 1 within event group 1. Task 3 will be used later and blue button interrupt will cause settings 50 hexadecimal within event group 1. After those operations, please generate the code and open main.c file. As you notice, there is no event flags generation option within current versions of STM32CubeMX nor STM32Cube IDE. Event flags objects should be declared and create manually by the developer. Within main.c file in user code begin PV section, so private variables, please declare event group 1, it is OS event flags ID underscore T type. Then within main function, after hardware initialization, within initialization of OS components, please initialize create event group 1 by calling OS event flux new function with null argument. You can see it on the screen. Then we can use our newly created event flux within start task 1 function, which is an entry function of task 1. With uh, its endless loop, please uh, insert the function which would wait for event group 1 object to be equal to 51 hexadecimal. To do this, we will use OS event flux wait function with the following arguments. The first one would be event group 1 handler. Then the second one would be the mask we are waiting for. In our case, it will be 51 hexadecimal. The third argument would be, let's say, the selected options. In our case, we would like to wait for the complete set of masks. Then the, the last fourth argument is a timeout. In our case, we will wait till the mask will be set. So we will use OS wait forever. After the event group 1 will be set to 51 hexadecimal, task 1 will perform its action by sending 1 over SWO interface. Now let's add some code to other components which would be responsible for event groups mask set. Within start task 2 function, which is an entry function for task 2, please add OS event flux set function to set 1 within mask of event group 1. In fact, it will be ORT with a already existing value. Then please send 2 over SWO interface. At the end, task 2 will be sent to blocked state for 3 seconds using OS delay function. Within an external interrupt procedure, please set mask for event group 1 to 50 hexadecimal. Again, it will be ORT with already existing value. Then, within this callback, please send an exclamation mark over SWO interface. After those operations, please build the project, start the back session, open SWV ITM console and run the application. As a result, we should see one displayed on the console once on each 3 seconds, it would be a task 2 action, and the button press, which would be an external interrupt action. Let's have a look at the result. At the beginning, only task 2 has been executed once per 3 seconds, uh, so we can see 2 digit on the, on the console. Then, in this time, task 1 is waiting for a combination of uh, two flags, uh, so 50 hexadecimal coming from the interrupt and 1 coming from our task 2. So once we press the blue button, our task 1 will be unblocked, so it will be moved from blocked state to run state. It will execute its action, so it's sending 1 over SWO. This is one we can see 1 just after the exclamation mark coming from the interrupt. And then it will went into the blocked state again as it will, as let's say this flux will be cleared on exit of the wait function. 
and we need to wait for the next combination of task2 and interrupt flux set. This is why on the screen we can see after exclamation mark 1, then there are let's say series of two digits once again, and just after next exclamation mark we can see again a single occurrence of 1, which means that the task1 has been unblocked by the combination of two flags coming from task2 and coming from the interrupt. We can unblock more the tasks on the same event flags set. To test it we will involve our task3 into the game. Let's modify start task3 function so it will wait for 51 hexadecimal mask within event group 1 as well. Once it will be successful it will send 3 over SWO interface using task underscore function. We will keep rest of the code not changed. Please compile the code, start debug session, open SWV ITME console and run the application. As the result we should see that both task1 and task3 will be invoked each 3 seconds if there would be a button press. And here is an illustration of the final effect. At the beginning only task2 has been executed once per 3 seconds. Task1 and task3 are waiting being in a blocked state. They are waiting for a combination of flux, 51 hexadecimal, which could be delivered by task2, its uh, 1, and interrupt, uh, its 50 hexadecimal. Once we press the button, the one flag within the weighted combination has been set and it will unblock task 1 and task 3 and both will be moved from blocked state to run state, which is visible for us as a display on single wire interface console. We can see 3 and 1 display just after an exclamation mark. Then both uh, tasks will be moved into the blocked state again as the flags has been cleared on exit of the wait function and both will wait uh, for the next combination of task2 and interrupt flux set. So as we can see on the screen there is a string of 2, 2, then if there is an exclamation mark, so the button press, there is let's say the combination of flux uh, delivered, so 51 hexadecimal, which is unblocking two, two tasks, uh, task3 and task1. This is why we can see 3 and 1, one by one after the exclamation mark, and then there is uh, 2 again. Thank you for watching this video.